In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We celebrate the conversion of St Paul. Uh, he was knocked down off his horse as he went to persecute Christians in Damascus. And he was had this vision of Christ calling him. And he turned around his life. He was a persecutor of Christians. He became the greatest defender and preacher of the uh, Christ, uh, new Christian faith, as it were. And um, I suppose he reminds us uh, that God is calling us all. And we are his body, his church. It's especially important on this final uh, day of the week of Christian unity to remember that. That we should not rend the body of Christ or be disloyal to it. It's been disloyal to Christ. We call to mind our sins and uh, our need perhaps to um, have a life that is uh, more centred on Christ. Not avoiding the world but motivated more by Christ. I celebrate this Mass for you, the people of our various churches of Grange, Milthorpe and Arnside, and then the other visitors to this site, you're included for your intentions. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul said to the people, I am a Jew and was born in Tarsus in Cilicia. I was brought up here in this city. I, I studied under Gamaliel and was taught the exact observance of the law of our ancestors. In fact, I was uh, as full of duty towards God as you are today. I even persecuted this way to the death and sent women as well as men to prison in chains, as the high priest and the whole council of the elders can testify, since they have even sent me with letters to their brothers in Damascus. When I set off, it was with the intention of bringing prisoners back from there to Jerusalem for punishment. I was on that journey, and nearly at Damascus, about when about midday, a bright light from heaven suddenly shone around me. 
I fell to the ground and heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? He said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, and you are persecuting me. The people with me saw the light, but did not hear his voice as he spoke to me. I said, What am I to do, Lord? The Lord answered, Stand up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told what you have appointed to what you have been appointed to do. The light had been so dazzling that I was blind, and my companions had to take me by the hand, and so I came to Damascus. Someone called Ananias, a devout follower of the law, and highly thought of by all the Jews living there, came to see me. He stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, receive your sight. Instantly my sight came back, and I was able to see him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will, to see the just one and hear his own voice speaking, because you are to be his witness before all mankind, testifying to what you have seen and heard. And now why delay? <coughs> it is time that you were baptised and had your sins washed away while invoking his name. The Word of the Lord. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you people. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful for ever. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah. <coughs> I chose you from the world to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptised will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils, they will have the gift of tongues, they will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed, should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick, who will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Our Lord uh, called St Paul. Paul became the fiery supporter of our Lord Jesus because Jesus got personal with him. God wants to get personal with us. From then on, our faith changes. It's a personally motivated faith. Jesus said to Paul on the road to Damascus, why persecute me? Not why persecute my followers or anything like that. Why persecute me? And then later, through Ananias, he said, 
You are chosen to do God's will. You're chosen to be witness of the just one. Witness to Jesus. He was just as truly chosen as the apostles were on the edge of the Lake of Galilee when Jesus walked by. And Paul, of course, was a completely black and white person, 100% for what he was doing, turned all his energies he had used to persecute the church into preaching Christ, proclaiming him. It was personal. His loyalty was personal. He attached himself to the Lord and his whole mind and heart was turned towards proclaiming him. Okay, what could our response be to the call of St Paul? Obviously, A, we're not the same personality, probably. You know, some fiery, outgoing, 100% loyal person, you know, just goes for it. And B, we're in a different situation. Well, I think first of all, thanksgiving for the work of St. Paul. He responded, turned his life around, converted, turned around, uh, and heard the call of God. So first of all, thanksgiving. Secondly, example. What happened to Paul can happen to us. First of all, motivation. He was deeply motivation, motivated by his personal call from our Lord. We should deepen our knowledge of our Lord um, and hear his voice speaking, perhaps through the scriptures or in other ways, as a living person. Paul didn't see a physical person Neither do we, but he was called, personally. Secondly, response, witness. A personal responsibility to stand up for Christ, witness. And I think thirdly, on this end of the octave of unity, uh, to pray for unity, work for unity of Christ's church. Remember the first reading our Lord said, attacking my church is the same as attacking me. Why persecute not my followers, but me? Jesus says the church is me. How can Jesus be divided against his express wish? So Lord, help us in all these ways. First of all, to come closer to you to be motivated by your presence and friendship. Secondly, give us the courage to go out and the wisdom to go out and witness to you, to your presence quietly but firmly. And finally, help us to find unity with our brothers and sisters, our common ground in Christ. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. 
Lord, wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess his resurrection, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the resurrection, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
and with the blessed apostles, especially the blessed apostle Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. It is mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Receive of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to con judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy. Be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. As I receive the Eucharist, I invite you to take part in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. For so you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. the special blessing for apostles with three amens. May God who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Paul. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witness to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.